So you just started playing DBD and you don't know which character to main. No worries, I've asked the internet and compiled the info you need to be a successful Talita main. First off, we're going to check out the protective Talitas. These mains saw her intro video and how she focused on making sure her brother Hanatu was safe and absolutely fell in love. While these mains do tend to have a soft spot for the Hanatus out there, technically the proverbial little brother could be anyone, but it's usually a person that they know who they've gotten into the game. Usually these Talitas also run perks specifically designed to get their little buddy out of danger. They don't mind taking one for the team and being the one camped on hook at end stage, but if the killer comes for their friend, it's the equivalent of a newborn being protected by a homicidal border collie. Talita will very nicely herd the baby to a gen and then tell them to stay on it and not to mind the sounds of violence, ankles breaking, and the clowns coughing, slowly mutating to sobs in the distance. In the event the baby finishes the gen or gets bored and wanders off, Talita will return for them, guide them back to an objective, and return to destroy what's left of the killer's self-esteem. For killers finding themselves up against these kinds of Talitas, it's just generally going to be easier to just pretend they're three survivors and to just let that last one go. It's going to save you and your therapist a lot of time. Next we have the lore accurate Talita mains. These mains are social butterflies and feel unsafe when they are alone. Instead of spreading out to create gen pressure, these mains will attach themselves to the first person they see or the first person to give them friendly bags or nodders and follow them around the map. Unfortunately, these mains will occasionally be left out to dry when they encounter those survivors who would rather floss with barbed wire than interact with another person. For the most part, these mains were welcomed, especially by those who consistently ran Prove Thyself and finally got to see it pay off. Lore accurate Talita streamers spend the entire match talking about how adorable their buddy is, even if it's a prickly old woman Nancy that sprint bursted out of there the moment the streamer sat down to say hello. And yes, these Talita mains absolutely have conversations with themselves, knowing full well the other survivors can't hear a damn thing. In endgame chat, they will tell you how much they loved you so long as they're able to do so. These mains are also significantly more likely to attempt to add you as a friend on whatever platform they're on because they are just so dang friendly. Next off, we've got the Talita Vibe mains. These mains will log in and listen to Talita's lobby music and then just zone out. They may have logged in fully intending to play the game, but when your brain decides you're gonna do five other things at the same time, the game just slips away from you. When they aren't vibing to the lobby music, they are checking out Talita's wardrobe. There's a crossover with these mains and the previous two mains as some of them will pick up the pigtails and run with either a baby Meg or attach to one of the alpha Megs so they can be twinsies. There's also a subset of Talita mains that are obsessed with the prestige Talita head because she has blood highlights, baby! Next, we have the perpetually distracted Talita mains. While very similar to their Hanatu counterparts, these mains get so distracted by literally anything that a Bubba could sneak up on them in a windowless white Humvee with seal horn exhaust pipes, chainsaw revving while Leon clings to the top of the Humvee, wailing like a himbo siren. This usually involves having a casual conversation with either themselves or with a friend before suddenly devolving into shrieking. Talita Swift is usually just sitting on top of main rolling their eyes because they've interrupted Talita's monologue about her latest work drama at least four times to let them know Bubs was heading to their location from Shack. Finally, we have the Booty Talitas, bane of skull merchant mains everywhere. Ghostface mains in a match with a Talita, leather pants, Jake, booty shorts, Kate, and a Jane main experience such an intense internal dilemma that their brains short out and they just instantly drop to their knees to thank Booty Jesus for this glorious day. Skull merchants are going to tunnel Talita regardless, but these mains are 100% judging them every single time and find them wanting as they are fully capable of stomping the balls clean off most killers. While these mains do feel that they have the superior derriere, they tend to be booty connoisseurs and you will find them swatting at every bottom available, killer or survivor. Delita. Hey, little brother, you're okay. Hold Big Sis's earrings, would you? Go over there and put some lo-fi mix on into a generator. All right, you giggly motherfucker. I'll show you what sparks some motherfucking joy. 